Today, we are delving into a crucial topic, lowering your high blood pressure naturally without relying on medication. So, sit back, relax, and let's explore the top 10 strategies to lower your blood pressure naturally with no medication. Number one, embrace a whole foods plant-based diet. This forms the foundation of a heart healthy lifestyle. A whole foods uh, plant-based diet is more than just a trend, it's a lifestyle choice with profound health benefits by shifting your meals to include more plants and fewer processed foods. You not only nourish your body, but you also support your heart health. And the key is diversity. The more colors in your plate, the better. The fruits, the vegetables, the whole grains, legumes and nuts and seeds uh, are a rich array of nutrients that work together synergistically to promote optimal well-being. Think of it as a rainbow of health on your plate. Studies show that such a diet not only lowers your blood pressure but guards against heart disease and strokes and even cancer. Number two, increase dietary fiber. Americans don't eat enough fiber. Women need to have 25 grams fiber a day, and men 38 grams. 95% of us Americans do not eat enough fiber. Did you know that fiber is found only in plant foods? It is essential for a healthy gut and stable uh, blood sugar levels. By enjoying the fruits, veggies, the whole grains, and legumes, you support the microbiome and promote better blood pressure regulation. Fiber is nature's room for your digestive system. It keeps things moving uh, along smoothly, aids in satiety, and helps regulate the blood sugar levels. But its benefits don't just stop there. Fiber also acts a prebiotic, uh, feeding the good bacteria in your gut and promoting a healthy microbiome. And a diverse microbiome is associated with better overall health, including lower uh, blood pressure. So load up on fiber-rich foods for a happy gut and a healthier heart. Number three, limit sodium intake. While our bodies uh, need uh, sodium for proper function, sodium is a key electrolyte that plays a role in uh, fluid balance and uh, uh, nerve and muscle function. But excess sodium gives you trouble. Who is salt sensitive? Not everybody is salt sensitive. Obese people, elderly people, uh, African Americans, and in general, 51% of people who have blood pressure are salt sensitive. And excess sodium uh, would lead to fluid retention and elevated uh, blood pressure. And ideal aim to consume no more than 1500 milligrams of sodium per day. And sodium hides in unexpected places. Here are 10 tips to lower your sodium in your diet. Number 10, cut processed foods. Number nine, Cut back on restaurant food. 71% of the salt we ingest comes from processed foods and restaurant foods. Only 5% comes from the salt shaker and 6% from home cooking. Number eight, cooking at home. You have control over what you put in your food. Number seven, eat less salty foods. If you're going to eat them, eat less. Number six, give sodium a rinse. If you buy a can of beans and you didn't pick the low sodium, you could rinse them and get rid of some of the sodium. Number five, use salt substitutes. They're very healthy. Number four, use herbs and spices instead of salt. Number three, read the labels. Number two, buy fresh or frozen. Number one, look for items with milligrams of sodium uh, less than the number of calories. When you go to a supermarket, for instance, let's give an example. If you pick a can of soup that has 500 uh, calories, make sure it has 500 milligrams of sodium or less. Your heart will thank you for it. Let's go back to 10 ways of lowering your blood pressure. Number four, say now to added sugars. Uh, too much sugar can lead to weight gain, insulin resistance, and high blood pressure. Uh, choose natural sweeteners and reduce your intake of sugary treats. Added sugars, often hiding in the sodas, the candies, and processed foods can wreak havoc on your health. Uh, they spike your blood sugar and promote inflammation and contribute to weight gain, all of which are risk factors for high blood pressure and heart disease. Satisfying your sweet tooth with fresh fruits can help curb your sugar cravings while supporting your heart health. Number five, 
minimize bad fats. Not all fats are created equal. While solid fats, saturated and trans fats, can raise the LDL cholesterol levels and increase the risk of heart disease, and saturated fats, on the other hand, uh, found in avocados, nuts, and seeds, olive oil, can have the opposite effect. And this healthy fat supports your heart health, lowering cholesterol and reducing inflammation. So make uh, the switch to a healthier fats in your cooking and meal choices for a heart healthy diet. Number six, prioritize omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are like superheroes to your heart. They swoop in to reduce inflammation, lower triglycerides levels, and promote overall cardiovascular health. Incorporating omega-3 fatty foods like the salmon, the sardines, uh, uh, flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, into your diet can be a game changer for your heart health. Whether you are a seafood lover or prefer plant-based options, uh, there are plenty of delicious ways to get your omega freeze. These essential uh, fats reduce inflammation and improve heart function. Number seven, choose plant-based proteins. Legumes, beans, peas, chickpeas, lentils are not only good for your health, but also for the planet. And plant-based proteins are nutrient powerhouses that offer a host of benefits for your heart and overall health. And they just don't have amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. They are rich in fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, making them a smart choice to anyone looking to lower their blood pressure naturally. Plus, they are versatile and delicious, making it easy to incorporate more plant-based meals into your routine. Whether you are enjoying a hearty lentil soup or a flavorable chickpea salad, plant-based proteins can be a tasty addition to your diet. Number eight, emphasize anti-inflammatory foods. Chronic inflammation is like a slow burn that can damage your blood vessels and contribute to high blood pressure and heart disease and cancer. Combating inflammation starts with what's on your plate. Uh, fruits and vegetables, especially those with vibrant colors like berries, uh, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, uh, are rich in antioxidants and phytonutrients that uh, help quell inflammation and lower your blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart disease. By incorporating more of these anti-inflammatory foods into your meals, you're not only boosting your heart health, but also enhancing your overall well-being. Number nine, choose whole grains. Stay away from the white stuff, white flour, white pasta, white rice. You need to replace them with whole grains, uh, whole pasta and brown rice. Whole grains are nutritious powerhouses. They offer a spectrum of health benefits. And like refined grains, which uh, have been stripped of their nutrients, whole grains retain their fiber, their vitamins and minerals, antioxidants. And they make them a smart choice for anyone looking to lower their blood pressure and improve their overall health. From hearty quinoa balls to comforting oatmeal, there are endless ways to enjoy whole grains and reap their heart-healthy benefits. And final number 10, ensure adequate intake of essential nutrients. Essential nutrients of potassium, uh, magnesium, and vitamin B12, and Vitamin D play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy blood pressure levels and supporting overall cardiovascular health. Potassium are found abundantly in foods, uh, not only bananas, wheat, potatoes, and spinach, uh, helps regulate your blood pressure by balancing sodium levels in the body. And magnesium are present in foods, almonds, spinach, avocado, supports muscle function and heart rhythm. And vitamin B12, uh, primarily found in animal products and or fortified foods, is essential for red blood cell production and nerve function. And by ensuring adequate intake of these essential nutrients, we are giving your heart the support it needs to thrive. Now that we've explored these 10 powerful strategies for natural lowering of blood pressure, you might be wondering how to put them into action effectively. That's where smart goals uh, come in. They have to be specific, they have to be measurable, they have to be achievable, relevant, and time-bound. By setting clear, realistic goals, you can stay motivated and track your progress in your journey to better health. For example, you could commit to adding uh, one serving of leafy greens or your favorite vegetable, cauliflower or cabbages, to your meals 
every day for four weeks at dinner. Or you can commit to swapping out one sugary drink for one herbal tea. And remember, small changes can lead to big results when it comes to improving your blood pressure and overall health. And here is the bonus tip I promised at the beginning of the video. Imagine combining uh, these strategies and achieving your ideal health. If you do everything right, you adhere to a whole foods plant-based diet. You cut the sodium, you increase the potassium, you decrease saturated fats and sugar sweetened beverage, you stop the alcohol, you exercise a minimum of 50 minutes a week, you achieve the ideal body weight, BMI less than 25. How much drop in blood pressure you can expect? Research shows that each step can lower your blood pressure by five to 10 millimeters of mercury. If you put them all together, you are talking decreasing your blood pressure by 45, 50, or even 60 millimeters of mercury, reducing or even eliminating the need for medication. And to learn more how to lower your blood pressure naturally, check this video, Blood Pressure, Top 7 Drinks to Lower It Naturally Without Medications. I'll put the link above and on the description below. And remember, your health, your most precious effect, take control. See you next video.